lucky man Wonder how did I get you We made it this far And now we're standing hand in hand Yeah No doubts in my heart That I found the one that's clever And today is your day Friends and family of the bride and groom, welcome and thank you for being here on this important day. You may all take your seats. We are gathered together to celebrate the very special love between Christina and Rob by joining them in marriage. All of us need and desire to love and to be loved. And the highest form of love between two people is within a monogamous and committed relationship. Christina and Rod, your marriage today is the public and legal joining of your souls. They have already been united as one in your hearts. Marriage will allow you a new environment to share your lives together. Standing together to face life and the world hand in hand. Marriage is giving to expand you as individuals. Define you as a couple and deepen your love for one another. To be successful, you will need strength, courage, patience, and a really, really good sense of humor. Look at one another and remember this moment in time. Before this moment, you have been many things to one another. Acquaintance, friend, companion, lover, dancing partner, even teacher. For you have learned much from one another throughout the years. Shortly, you shall say a few words that will take you across a threshold of life. And things between you will never quite be the same. So let your marriage be a time of walking and waking into and with one another each morning and falling in love with one another all over again. Christina and Rod have asked that I read The Art of Marriage. A good marriage must be created. In marriage, the little, the little things are the big things. It is never being too old to hold hands. It is remembering to say, I love you at least once a day. It is never going to sleep angry. It is having a mutual sense of values and common objectives. It is standing together facing the world. It is forming a circle of love that gathers in the whole family. It is speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It is having the capacity to forgive and forget. It is in giving each other an atmosphere in which you can grow. It is finding room for the things of the spirit. It is a common search for the good and the beautiful. It is not only marrying the right partner, it is being the right partner. Christina and Rob will now share their vows, starting with Rob. Do you, Roderick Simmons, take this woman, Christina Rodriguez, to be your lawfully wedded wife, 
to have and hold, in sickness and in health, to love, honor, and cherish in good times and bad, for richer or poor? Do you promise to be her equal partner in a loving, honest relationship for as long as you both shall live? Do you, Christina Rodriguez, take this man, Roderick Simmons, to be your lawfully wedded husband, to have and to hold, in sickness and in health, to love, honor, and cherish in good times and bad, for richer or for poor? Do you promise to be his equal partner in a loving and honest relationship for as long as you both shall live? Christina and Rod, you will now exchange rings as a symbol of your love and commitment. May we please have the rings. Rod, please take Christina's hand. As you place this ring on Christina's finger, you will repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. <laughs> As a symbol of my everlasting love for you, Christina, please take Brian's hand. As you place this ring on Rod's finger, please repeat after me. I give you this ring as a symbol of my everlasting love for you. From this day until now and forever, May the Lord remain with you always to keep you in love and internally young and your faith forever strong. Amen. And with that, by the power vested in me, by the American Marriage Ministries and the state of Kansas, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Please share your first kiss as a married couple. <laughs> Family and friends, I now introduce you Mr. and Mrs. Roderick Simmons.